Hello world and welcome to the latest entertainment show Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. How do you like your tea sipped or spilled? Whichever ways we serve it. As we analyze the biggest stories around the world of entertainment. My name is Ifeolua Oshinke and I've got my co-anchors, the feisty Ifeolua Omai and the beautiful Nimi Dekombi. What's good? <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> What's good? <laughs> What's, hmm? What's your... I don't know which compliments is... Which one is which? <laughs> which what? Mm -hmm. Feisty, how? If well, you're feisty. Come I'm on, man. You don't you don't like being feisty. Um, I, mm -hmm. I think it's a compliment. It to is a compliment, feisty. actually. Mm. Okay, the beautiful Ifelua Omai and the feisty Nimi De Kombi. How I'm about that? So, like, if you're easily swapping these compliments, are they even true? As in, like, if you're going to swap it. Don't but wait, don't you I'm trust yourselves? Difficult. Come Let on. Me, <laughs> please. All right, so let's kick off with the president of the Humanist Association of Nigeria, Mubarak Bala, who has been arrested for blasphemy in Kaduna. So information reaching us is that he was picked up by police officers in Mufti from his home on allegations that he insulted Prophet Muhammad on his Facebook page. A group of lawyers had petitioned the Kano State Police Command to prosecute him for this. And guess what? This crime carries the death sentence under the Sharia law. He found guilty. <sighs> hmm, why is your mouth open? It's just really insane that this is the country that I live in. Yes, exactly. That's how I feel. Too. Yes, it is. It is. I can't scary. believe that this is happening in 2020 in our country. Especially the fact that the lawyers petitioned for and, it. Yes, and it was um, from Kano. They petitioned from Kano. It was picked up. These in lawyers, Kaduna. do they work with the law or they work with Sharia? All right, I think so they work with Sharia. Should we look law? at the legality of Please, this case? Yes, of All right. So according to Section 38 of the Nigerian Constitution, it entitles Nigerians to freedom of thought, conscience, and religion. Section 39, give, 39 gives Nigerians the right of freedom of expression. And so let's look at, let's break this down now. First one is blasphemy is a religious offense and not a legal one. So the police being involved is wrong. It's That's wrong. one. Religion is a matter of personal belief. And what he wrote is his personal belief, right? Mm -hmm. And um, secondly, Mubarak is not a Muslim and shouldn't be subject to such so Sharia law. So, um, the fourth one is that the constitution allows for freedom of speech. of speech. But if we have to turn the tables and we go by the penal code of Kano State where it was petitioned against, it says that... Um, Whenever any, um, whoever by any means publicly insults or seeks to incite contempt of religion in such a manner that will lead to the breach of peace, shall be punished with imprisonment for up to two years. Now, that's the penal code of Kano. Now, if you're going to provoke Muslims in such a manner that they will be forced to take laws into their own hands. So I'm looking at this from the angle of they're doing this to protect Mubarak Bala, because the Muslims are already agitated, they're already angry, already like, how can you say such a thing? I don't know if you guys saw what he put on his Facebook page, did you see? Okay, so what he put out on his Facebook page was that um, there are two prophets, T.B. Joshua from Nigeria and Prophet Mohammed from Saudi Arabia, but our own is, don't quote me, oh. <laughs> Mubarak Bala said this, but our own from Nigeria is even better as he is not a terrorist. Damn. Do you understand? So now the Muslims are really upset. Like, how can you even say that about us? Do you understand? So um, if you are going to cause breach of peace, which is according to the penal code, and that's according to section 210 of the Canal Penal Code, then they have every right to pick him up, according to the law. Personally, I think it's ridiculous. Because, like you said, there's freedom of speech and there's freedom for you to practice your religion. According to the constitution. When, when in your religion, if people speak against your religion or people insult your prophet or people insult your way of life, and then the next thing is for the person to be arrested or the person is subject to death, and that is oppression. I don't know how, in what way this can be allowed to exist in any law, in any space in 2020. Nigeria is not a Muslim nation. It's a secular one. They are Muslims. They are Christians. Do you actually believe what you just said? 
I personally, I, I, I want to believe <laughs> that. Yeah, I want to believe that Nigeria believe it, is a secular nation. Not it's not a Muslim, it's not a Christian um, nation. So it's ridiculous that because of I say something against a particular religion, I would be imprisoned or be almost sentenced to death for speaking. I mean, <laughs> the, what people don't realize is that um, this is going to cause like a Pandora effect. Because it's not just going to be limited to oh, somebody speaking against, you know, Prophet Muhammad or anything. It becomes a case where people are careful of what they say. People are no longer allowed to have freedom of expression. And that is mm. against, mm. that is against your human rights. You have the yeah. right to express yourself. Mm. So this is not just a, somebody insulted Prophet, um, Prophet Muhammad and blah, blah, blah. This is a human rights mm. issue. And yeah. I hope that human rights bodies Activists start, you know, they, they come into this case before, because I'm so scared for this man. They've already taken him into custody. We don't know what they've already done to, to him. him. We don't know if he's still alive. Life. If he's mm. taken to Kano and blasphemy is um, punishable, by punishable by death, I don't think he will even make it to Abuja where they intend to conclude the case. You understand? But have you been to Twitter streets? You would know yeah. that these Muslims are not even joking True. and they are saying it that, look, anybody that you feel you want them to free, then come to Kano and the same punishment will be given, we will kill you. That's you educated understand? Muslims are saying, so, no, some of the people are saying yeah, that they're, they're educated. Against it. Even the um, Muslims in, in the UK are kicking against this as well. But that is to show you the lens at which they are ready to go to make sure that this guy dies. So I think, in a way, this is a form of protection for him as well, because if he's left like that, they will look for this guy and they will murder but him. How are we sure that he's safe where he is currently? Uh, I don't think he's I safe would, anywhere. I would um, want to say, I really love the part that you um, brought in a human right issue, which is why I want to focus on mm. more. A lot of the times, my issue, if you watch on this show, you know I have a serious issue with religion in mm. general. But one of the things that I've noticed is this. Um, it's not just Islam. There's a lot of religions that have that rejection against anyone who doesn't practice or believe mm -hmm. with them. But I have to say, my opinion, and if I come for me too, I mean, Lagos says you can't even come and arrest me. But <laughs> I feel like Islam is one of those religions. And I don't, I don't think it's the fundamentals of it. I can't say it is or isn't because I'm not Islam and I've never read a book in it. But I've always just seen that their response in this, in this, in this um, space is always aggressive and always violent and, and then you have all these people coming out to say no it's not like that and that's not what it preaches but you mm. still have heaps of people in using that name and it's only islam that i know about that does that i'm sorry to have to say this i'm not islamophobic i have I don't say I have many Muslim friends because <laughs> that's, that's what racist is. <laughs> but um, and, and to say, I don't actually have much Muslim friends, but I've noticed that, that that's what comes out of it. There was a tweet that I saw today, and I was glad that it was from a Muslim person who where he said that we that the people who don't agree to this um, logic need to do better in terms of raising their voice. I think it's very flimsy when you know that if you know that this is actually against the core of the Islam, and you're very passive yeah, about that. Um, I know that Christianity they in the in the eight. I, no, not 80s, maybe um, later than that, maybe 60s, they used to use is, um, Christian, Christianity as a fundamental reason why racism existed in America. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, with the people were not passive about that. It was very quick mm. to like to like um, break right down, down, yeah, because it didn't really stand with the core and stuff. But till tomorrow, there's still so many people who have used and legitimized Islam as a means of oppression, and I'm sick and tired of it. If he wants to be atheist, he can be. I'm sorry. Yeah. And, but uh, yeah, I have to say very quickly sorry. that, that that him calling somebody a terrorist <laughs> is not like something that I, I want to promote either. Like mm -hmm. it's good to make that balance to say that I'm not in support of what he said. Even if you are atheist, I think it's very disrespectful to be um, somebody who is seen as a Christian Jesus Christ. Yes, exactly. Who you, and you're toiling with things that are sacred. Even if I don't believe that they're sacred, I still don't have a right to. to yeah, yeah, true. So that's my opinion. Right. And um, just for history's sake, um, in 2014, this guy was also forced to go to a mental institution for 18 days because he said he doesn't believe in God and he was born and raised in Kano State. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Is it Kano? Yeah, I think Kano State. He was born and raised and he said he doesn't believe in God. There were two doctors. The first one said, um, he's fine. He just, and the other one said, no, he has a problem with identity and all mm -hmm. that. And that he must believe in a God. There is a God. Even Japan has a God, blah, blah, blah. So that's just for history, but we need to go on a quick break. But tea time, we'll be right back. Stay with us.
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I the them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> Welcome back and this is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. This is the part where it gets juicy and smoothy oh, as we gosh. will be playing a game <laughs> and here are the rules. Each one of us has 30 seconds to answer the questions picked. The person who wins gets a free lunch and the person who loses pays for the lunch. Hmm, I'm hungry already. <laughs> so who's going to go first? <laughs> okay, so let's do this first. Here you go. Okay. Next. So who, who wants to go, go first? Go first, if you Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Ah. Uh, Complete the lyrics. Louder, we can't hear you. Lele, 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 gyration. <laughs> That's I so see easy. what you're doing. <laughs> you put your body into it. I love the way you move it all. Yeah. Yay. So that's you. You're next. So what were you supposed to do? Complete the lyrics now. This is where you, hey. This is the way you move it. You just read what you was, said was in, in the paper. Air. You did not continue the lyrics. I, I actually do not know. <laughs> so that you I, lost that point. I lost. You lost. Nice. Nice. Nice, bro. Uh, list three things you can't do child. without. That's so easy. List three things I can't do without air. I can't do without my phone. I can't do without. I can't do without food. Food, mm. water, air, basically. Food, water, water. Air. You can't do it without those three. You can do it on your phone. Oh, yeah, I'll you teach you a little. But yeah. <laughs> so right. did she get that? Uh -uh. No, she did not. I did. Jesus Christ! What are the primary colors? <laughs> God, primary school education. Let's go. You can do it. It's easy. Come on. Red, yellow. Are you looking at me like I'm blue. supposed to help you? Red, yellow, blue. Those are the Red, primary yellow, colors. Those you need to confirm that because I don't know anything about colors. No, they are because I know when you mix blue and yellow, you get green. And those are the primary colors. Yes. Okay. All right. So one point for again. me. You're already losing. As in just one. I'm, get, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> okay. List three new songs people use for social media trends. Bob Daddy. One. Um, don't rush by Bugsy and T. And um, see me and Ladi Po know you well. Nice. I'm sad. Nice. I was gonna say to, uh, to see slide, right? Yeah, true to see slide. Yeah. Drake. Mm. Okay. Name the one person that trends on Twitter every time. Hmm. I know this one. God, why was it made that pick? Takemakiwa. No. Name, it's Tacha. She trends every single Tacha. day. It depends on what Twitter every you're looking at. It's just Tacha, really no, Nigerian Twitter, Tacha trends every day. Nigerian Twitter, every, day. every, every single, single day. day sis. Okay. Com complete Thank you. the lyrics and Thank what's you. the name of the song. Hey, com com comment to tape. Mm. Say you the fear. Hello, <laughs> Lomadje. Hey. The swag and a rare. Hey. What's yeah. my name? Bob Daddy. Big so two. Uh -huh. Jack the Cup. Jack the <laughs> No, because I love that. The name that, of the song is Bob Daddy, so two points for me. Two <laughs> points. I feel like she one, gets one. half of that. Because two you points. Didn't actually... uh, two points. Okay. Next. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so this one is. Um, a dash is a book or electronic resource that lists the words of a language in alphabetical order and gives a dictionary is a book or electronic resource that lists the words of a language in alphabetical order and gives their meaning. A Two dictionary. points for you. Thank you. Oh, so, wow. But won't I get a point for singing nicely? No, you don't. Lele, 
Five, name five so couples in the entertainment industry. Good luck. Um, Good luck with that. Banky W and his wife. <laughs> Who is his wife? <laughs> Af. You better um, mention their name. <laughs> Adesua. Mm -hmm. um, Simi and Adekunle. Mm -hmm. Joke, Silva and... What's this? It's 30 seconds, not over. Right? Is it, did you say 30 seconds? Yeah, you say 30 must, seconds I, so I read out the rules. You read out the rules. You always see your 30 so. seconds. Um, okay. Uh, and we have our loser. So, <laughs> so my question. <laughs> yes. Who currently became a billionaire, Kanye West? Okay. Nice. So all three points. Big shout out to you. <laughs> Come on, I won. <laughs> okay, so that was fun. <laughs> Moving on. Singer Ari Song has urged President Muhammadu Buhari to invest in education and stop borrowing money from other countries. Hmm. The economy needs brains to sustain, it says. And this advice, I guess, we all stand. Right? Yeah. No. We don't? Mm -mm. Why not? I think we have to be honest about our situation. And mm. we're not the only ones begging, quote unquote. We've mm. been begging. Our economy is built on begging. All our, all our capital and revenue is on loan from the IMF, from mm. everywhere. So um, I don't think we can do it on our own, unfortunately. Mm. The question should be why can't we and how we should help each other. But we've been having that conversation since I was like five. So mm. we do need to ha um, ask for help. It's just the nature of an undeveloped um, country. We're not the only ones doing it. This is not a Nigerian thing. If anything, there are actually some developed countries that have moments where they need help as well. So I completely disagree with that. I think that, for me, stems from someone who doesn't know anything about the government. It's mm. easy to say, hypothetically speaking, yeah, that we sure. shouldn't borrow, but in reality of it, we have to. We have to. I don't think I completely disagree because I also personally think that what he said about investing in the educational sector is it's very important. Fun. So that's why I would not entirely throw everything he has said away. And um, I understand the need for them to borrow, but my problem is in Nigeria, we have a case of um, lack of accountability. Mm. So we are borrowing all mm. of this money. We're having people donate to that because of this COVID-19. But at the end of the day, there is no accountability. Nobody's coming forward to say, okay, the 21 million pounds that, we, that was given to us by the um, EU, this was what we used it to do. Mm. The 1.5 billion that this person donated, this was what we used it to do. Nobody's telling us anything. Mm. So we, we don't even understand all the money that people said they were donating, all the things that people said they donated. We don't know what's up with them. And, and, and that is a problem that I have with the leadership in Nigeria. Mm. There's a lot of unaccountability that I, goes on. That I would, we can't, for the life of us, say that, okay, this was what this money was used to do. I, I would say, though, that I don't think a lot of countries have that system where they actually give us a breakdown of what they do. The reason why we're asking for that in Nigeria is because we don't see any Anything. changes made. Yeah. If we're in a system where the trains were done when they said they'll be done, people are getting paid, the civil servants were not protesting, no one would be asking, like, oh, what did you do with your money? Um, and that's supposed to be the, um, the job of the government. But because we have such... In high level of incompetency, we are forced right. to then ask, yes. ask that. So I believe that um, this is off the back of the 850 billion naira that President Muhammadu um, asked the Senate and was approved, mm -hmm. right? So let's break this down really. I like the angle you came for, but at the, um, the Appropriation Act 2020 was signed, right? And Nigeria had a deficit that is money we don't have of about 1.6 trillion naira, right? <laughs> And it was then decided back then, before the whole economic shock and all of that, that it would be nice if 850 billion naira will be borrowed externally. That is 850 billion naira from the 1.6 trillion deposit will be borrowed externally. But due to the economic shock, the rise in dollar, the mm -hmm. COVID-19 and all of that, the major stakeholders then decided that they will borrow internally. Mm. Do you understand? Because if they did not do that, it would be incurring more costs for the country when the loan is due. Yeah. Do you understand? So yeah. I think it's a wise thing that we're even borrowing money from ourselves than mm. going to borrow from other countries. So I think musicians should try to educate themselves before they jump on certain issues such as the 850 billionaire that mm -hmm. President Muhammad Dubari asked for. But at the same time, invest in the educational system as yeah, well. Definitely. All right, so there's never enough time when you're having fun. But Tea Time will be back with a brand new episode. Thank you for watching. I'm wondering how you can see this again. You can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. Big shout out to my co-anchors, Ife Omai, and Nimi De can be the winner of the game and the entire production team for holding us down. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Oluwa Oshikeye. Hasta la vista.